Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In the previous tutorial, we discussed how we run the test on multiple browsers parallelly as well as the sequentially. Means we have one test or some set of the test. test. These tests we run parallelly on three browsers. But now in this tutorial, I am going to discuss how we run multiple tests separately on single browsers in multiple instances. Like we have suppose that 100 test script, so 50 test script will run on Chrome one instance and other 50 tests will run on another Chrome instance. So here it's divided, so parallel it will run on two browsers instances of this parallel it will run on the two instances of the same browsers so in this way we can reduce the execution time by running the test parallelly so let's see how we do that so here i am going to use the test change feature so let's create a test change file i am giving the name parallel Sort dot XML created. Let me copy this suit. Now I am going to run this on single browsers parallelly. We can remove here other tests. So only one Chrome test I have. Listener, we can leave as it is. Parallel, we can mark this false or we can also put test. There is no issue. Now we can add here some more java files of our test like this is the user management let's get the user management class added user management next is the dashboard dashboard so I can re comment retry retry listeners because I don't want to retry here now as of now. So let me comment this. Okay, so now I'm passing here the Chrome. So as we have already configured this parameterized. So when we pass the Chrome, it will launch the browser of the Chrome and run the test accordingly. Now three classes. If I run directly these classes files will run in a sequence means the test what is available in login user management as well as the dashboard will run in sequence running the test login test completed next test is running Okay, so you can see here four tests run, e pass one failed. So basically, uh, here uh, we have uh, three files, but in the dashboard we have two test method. That's why we we got four test, three pass, one failure. Let me set up this to run the parallel. So in that case, I can add here attribute parallel equal to classes because we want to run here suppose that if you want to run these classes run parallel then we can add here classes if we want to run the methods which are available in these classes run parallel then we need to mention here parallel equal to methods so as of now i am running this as a class parallel class so let me run and you will see it will invoke and run the test parallelly You can see three browsers, three classes I have. So three browsers invoked and test is running 
parallelly on three instances of the same browsers right so other method of the dashboard test is now running because here classes is running parallelly not method so you can see we can get the result quickly compared to the previous execution when we are we are running the sequentially now if we want to control the thread number of parallel execution means how many browsers instances we can use to run the browsers so we can use here thread hyphen count and then give the value integer value like i'm giving here two so in that case it will run parallelly simultaneously only the two browsers instances threads at a time so let me run and you will see now it will open only two browsers so two browsers open you can see here and tests are running So in this case, at a time, maximum two instances will open and minimum one. So now you can see here total run four, pass three and failure zero. In this way, we can run our automation test parallelly on same browser in multiple instances. This will be helpful to reduce the execution time. Okay. And now if you like the tutorial, please click on the like button, subscribe the channel. Also share this tutorial to your friends and colleagues. And leave a comment if you have any query. Thanks for watching the video.